good morning, fans of the privateer. Sorry, I missed you guys at the New York Open yesterday. Lunch went a little bit long with some pals, but we're back in action today. And the first thing I want to talk about is Dollar Rand, uh, and this came up at lunch yesterday. According to legend that, uh, you know, ever since uh, Grantham and all these people in the last week have said that we should be loading up on emerging markets, equities, rather than Western equities, uh, there has been serious flow into South Africa, South American equities, and Russian equities. So mainly South Africa, Brazil, and Russia. This makes a lot of sense to me because I was just wondering why Dollar Rand would not go up during this bout of risk off. I do have to say, um, seems rather risky to be piling into emerging markets now. Let's take a look at uh, our old friend EWZ. We own this stuff uh, in at 25. We wore it all the way down to 16. Now it's at 40, 44. Long term, it looks pretty fairly fairly priced uh, and heading into a bear market in the US and I'm not sure why suddenly you feel the need to own fragile emerging markets currencies and then if you take a look at the currency appreciation so effectively you're buying South African Rand after it's just appreciated 20 percent actually Sorry, it's appreciated 35 or 40 percent. Let's call it from 117 to 112. Uh, 500 big figures, it's like 40 percent. So the, the currency has just appreciated 40 percent. The equities are in the middle of their 10 year range, and you're buying emerging markets. Makes no sense to me, sounds like a recipe for disaster. So I'm reopening the case uh, on taking the other side of this bet. We had the big bearish engulfing day two days ago. Yesterday I was pretty sure that we were going to break this 1180 area. It didn't really happen somehow. Stock came off again yesterday, so I don't know. It looks like we can... Perhaps dive into the longs again if we make a new high from this big red bar. But then you just want to sit here and think, where are people going to get twitchy? No one's really going to get twitchy at 12.17. because This is just kind of where they bought it, and these are long-term guys, and they don't leave stops. But 12.53... They might start getting a bit twitchy. That's going to be 2 or 3%, 3% against them. Um, this is a level to keep in mind, 12.53. Anyway, there's my pitch on Dollar Czar. Even though I was at lunch, always working, always asking, trying to figure stuff out. Let's talk about cable today. We got the rate decision, Super Thursday, yada, blada, blada. This is an important point, 138.37. This is also an important point, 139.93. We're basically smack in the middle here. I don't like trading these uh, UK event days. So convoluted and... It's really hard to figure out what the flock is doing. One thing I can say is this trend line here will be support today. So if we have a, if we have some sort of a whopper lower, you're going to get support at 136.40. Um, top side, I don't really know. We'll go into depth into this at the New York Open, but something to just think about in managing risk, depending if you have any core sterling positions on. We don't. But if you do out there, today is going to be a volatile day in sterling. 
Let's uh, let's be ready for that. Sterling yen. If you're if you like break trading, which of course we do, uh, this is a nice point. We printed the 33s now. 43 yesterday, 33 the day before, and 20. I guess it's actually 23. No, 20. You could draw this little upward sloper here. You could do a lot of things here, but I like this uh, sterling yen lower, mainly because I also like dollar yen lower, as you all know. And we still like stocks lower. Boy, stocks yesterday. Bearish close. That was very, very, very awkward up at 27.29. Even though I said, wait, 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 be patient, be patient, be patient. We want to sell in front of 27.35. Of course, we sold at 27. The figure, you know, it's 30 handles against you. And you're just like, really? You don't want to stop because you sold too early. It was really poorly done uh, from the privateer gang. I have to say, but we survived it, and we're back in the resell. We squared up last night at the close. Uh, we are reselling high ones, trying to be core short. And we're basically waiting for this 200 day to break, which by any indication could happen any day now, even though it's 130 handles away. This is now going to be confirmation of a bear market, 2532. Put it in your book. Get ready for it. Um, be prepared. Cryptos, cruising higher. Yesterday we traded up to 87. Again, I don't want to beat a dead horse. Trade out of your longs. Leave a core long at the best average possible and then re-enter crazy low bids I have a feeling this is going to be one of the long-term lows here 58.73 5,000 was a very big break um, on the way up and we had 5,500s in didn't get given I have a feeling those 5500s are now going to turn into what we call lonely bids that are just going to lonely be sitting there forever all alone never going to get matched up um, we'll see but it's kind of giving us what we want I mean the 8500s you know you have to wait for 10,500 to to dish out of some of those but your average now should be below 2000 if you've been trading this volatility correctly for the last three months uh, and that's what we're looking for Ethereum same exact trade same exact chart a little choppier a little less liquid um, same same NASDAQ is there uh, Euro we don't really know what to do very bearish bar yesterday uh, no real trade in euro. Dollar Swiss snuck through that 9400 yesterday, held the figure, traded up to 53. The machines are short Dollar Swiss. I'm not sure the humans are, but the machines are short. Uh, and thankfully, machines, like humans, have to leave a stop. There's going to be more pain involved in this trade. I'm sick of dollar Swiss. It gives me a headache. But you want to be core long dollar Swiss if you're if you're clever, which clearly we're not so clever with that stuff. Uh, otherwise, RBNZ nothing. So Kiwis come off a bit. Aussie on its knees. We are not selling low ones in the Aussie Kiwi CAD complex. They've been very good to us the last five days. We're square. We are looking at this 129.90 level, really 126 to figure. If we get a print in the dollar CAD, um, maybe we'll put a trade together when Toronto gets in. 
that's it for now. Uh, we're waiting for this uh, sterling news to come out. We like this dollar czar setup, and we're selling stocks on rallies. 26.74 now. Probably have some 94s in and 24s in. Our average is pretty good on this on this play, so we have a little bit of money to spend now. Um, that's about it. Dollar yen, we're we're waiting. We'll be selling high ones in dollar yen, or we'll be selling through 108.50. All right, I've said enough. Bye, 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 bye. Ciao, ciao. Have a good day trading.